The southern tip of Africa is a region celebrated around the world for the richness and diversity of its wildlife. Each year, hundreds of thousands of visitors flock to South Africa and Namibia to witness the magic of the natural world here. Their love of nature injects millions of dollars into the economies of countries where poverty is widespread. But the southern tip of Africa's coast is also the site of a shocking natural disaster, a man-made catastrophe which is threatening to wipe out a particularly unique species. The African penguin is on the verge of extinction. There were once millions of these birds in South Africa and Namibia. Today, only 1% of the historic population survive in the wild, fewer than 32,000 birds. These diminutive creatures cut a distinctive figure on the seashore and carve through the cold currents along the rocky coastline with exceptional agility and grace. They play a vital role in ecosystems both in the ocean and on land, but their numbers have fallen so drastically that the endangered African penguin now meets the criteria to be uplisted to critically endangered, which is one step away from extinction and could be functionally extinct in 10 years. And it is man-made or Anthropocene actions that are decimating the penguin population. This penguin cam mounted on the animal's back shows the schools of fish that the penguins rely on for food. But sadly, it's a sight that grows even rarer as industrial fishing fleets devour stocks of sardines and anchovy on which the penguin depends. Another man-made threat comes in the form of noise pollution, linked to shipping and harbor developments in the penguin's natural habitats. In the waters surrounding St. Croix Island in South Africa's Algoa Bay, a surge in maritime traffic and noise pollution is having a drastic effect on African penguins from this colony. In 2014, the island was home to 8,600 breeding pairs. In 2023, that figure has plummeted to less than 800 breeding pairs. Yet, the solution to the plight of the African penguin are not complex. While breeding, these birds are confined to a small area within approximately 30 kilometers around their colonies as they have to return to the colony to attend egg and chick duties. No fishing zones within 30 kilometers of these colonies would dramatically improve protection around their preferred foraging areas with relatively little impact on fishery yields. Governments could also conserve habitats by regulating maritime developments, limiting numbers of vessels and controlling their speed. Threats to the African penguin need urgent attention. Recent science shows that African penguins are declining at 8% per year. If this rate of decline persists, the African penguin will be extinct in the wild by 2035. The value of the animal kingdom to South Africa and Namibia is enormous. The nature-based tourism is a vital part of the economies and the fact it's home to a threatened species has global implications. For the sake of nature, the importance of species diversity and the opportunities for ecotourism, the governments of South Africa and Namibia must act now before Africa's only penguin is lost forever.